you my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about my story about me where am I from how did I get to where I am now my background my whole background we're going to spend a bit of time now obviously if you're not interested in who I am then this won't be an episode for you but if you've been wondering if you've been following you've been wondering you know where where do I come from what did I learn when I was a kid I'm not obviously going to go into like every single detail but I'm going to go into enough detail that you get a feeling that you actually know me and that's something that that you should be doing as well with your audience you got to make sure that people know who you are what you stand for what your values are kind of you know a little bit of your background and lots of times you don't you definitely don't want to necessarily do this in one big thing like what I'm going to do today but I think this will be useful for anybody who kind of wants to know who I am I'm going to be posting that and uh you know obviously on on smaller scale you know putting little things about yourself is definitely a good idea but anyways we're going to get into that in just a moment but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. Now obviously Course Income Secrets and who I am isn't doesn't seem to be connected but the thing that's important to remember is when you're trying to build a brand online you have to be the brand you have to be the thing that people gravitate to if you're if people don't like you they're not going to follow you and that's fine you know if you don't like me um th I'm not going to be upset because not everybody likes everybody and you got to focus on those who like you so you're listening to this right now you should be going to watch the video because I'm going to be sharing some interesting things hopefully I'll get some pictures and things like that to show you from my past and just kind of let you see who I am where I'm from how I got to where I am and uh, I'm gonna try to go through that journey with you to let you know uh, as much as I can and by the way if you're listening to the audio you're gonna want to go check out the video at cis378.jsgagnon.com where I'm gonna post the blog and also the video of this episode all right so let's get right to it let me share my screen and let's start with who uh who is Jean Serge right so who is Jean Serge Gagnon um I gotta make sure I click on the right thing so there we go so I'm Canadian I was born in Canada I was actually born in a spot called Sitzil which is right up here right over here this city here Sitzil Quebec so I'm actually a Quebec French Quebec Quebecer I speak French that's my mother tongue um when I was six years old though we moved to Manitoba right over here in Winnipeg well actually not Winnipeg but next uh, across the river someplace called Saint Boniface I should have probably looked it up but it's in there someplace so we moved to Winnipeg and um I was we were there for three years right we lived in Manitoba right over here for three years so that means until I was nine we moved to Halifax Halifax Nova Scotia right over here Halifax so actually Dartmouth we lived in Dartmouth for a year now that just kind of go through my, my my personal background both my parents are educators so they were able to to you know instill in me the desire to learn things to to like school and all that um in that year when we were in Nova Scotia my parents got uh, divorced so we ended up going to Cape Breton with my mother in Sydney right here in North Sydney we actually lived in uh, for three years I believe it was so by the time I was a teenager we moved back to Ottawa well Gatineau around on the Quebec side right over here we moved into Gatineau and uh, anyways that's just kind of my background where I lived I moved a lot uh since then um um, uh, I moved to I lived in Los Angeles I lived in Montreal and now now I'm living in Prince Edward Island this is actually where I'm at see the little blue dot is where I'm at right now I lived in a Prince Edward Island near Charlottetown and uh, that's kind of that's kind of the life the life journey if you will right when I was um if I go back to say when I was a teenager um around uh, 16 I think it was I moved in with my father with both my parents were living in in Ottawa area in Gatineau so I moved in with my father and 
as a graduation present he bought me a computer so I really started getting into the computers at that time and I learned a lot about programming today I'm a I'm a I'm a computer nerd if you will I know all about uh, programming I'm, I'm a anyways my job is DevOps you can see that in my Facebook profile right all the computer stuff that's uh, that I do I've done a couple of different websites since uh since then I've done um a, an e-commerce site I've done a crypto trading site I've done a um my well my blogs obviously I've done also most recently a course hosting site which is what I promote nowadays right and just 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 now like last month or so I built a chrome extension which is going to be my main focus now it's my chrome extension but not really the chrome extension itself but what people get out of it basically results from you know results from um getting the right people to engage on your post so that they see your stuff and you get more sales etc or whatever that's kind of what I'm going to be focusing on in the next little bit um isn't that cool I love this right I'm a nerd I'm a geek I love this uh, this crazy stuff that you can do with Google and actually you know, look check it out you go to uh, say uh satellite view right so that's kind of cool right this is my my hometown where I was born at right over here Cecil right here right and uh, I don't know if there's they have the because the other thing too you can do too is the 3d thing right they actually don't have the 3d there but if you go to cities like big cities like say for example Montreal it's kind of cool I can actually go in Montreal and I can go see the building where I'm actually I was actually living which is over here down in this area where was it oh right over here yeah. so it was actually right over here actually lived in one of these buildings over here someplace around here I think over here yeah mm -mm -mm. sorry I'm trying to find the building I was at it's actually right over here isn't it right over here something like this oh there it is see I used to live in this building right here that building right there <laughs> actually right whoops let's see go back actually right on the let's turn this around right over here and this this was my one of these was my balcony right there I don't know the 14th floor it was right there I actually and this is isn't this cool that you can actually do this right you can actually go in a city like Montreal and you can actually see what it looks like uh, I used to go on the rooftop right over here there was a rooftop terrace right there I can go on this roof and I could see that view right there that view right there I could see that right anyways whatever so that's okay so that's kind of my background where I moved I lived in different places and um yeah so now I'm doing online marketing how did I get to that right how did I get to online marketing well back in uh back in 1996 back in 1996 I actually was into I actually learned or not 96 I think it was 92 in 92 or 91 I actually learned all about network marketing by joining a network marketing company now you know you might not be into network marketing you might think it's annoying uh, people trying to get you into their businesses and all that stuff but the thing that you have to realize or at least what I learned from it is I learned a lot about personal development about personal growth about building you know your own uh well let's close that out there you go building your own business uh you know taxes I, I, all this stuff I learned that from being in a network marketing company so that was really really a great experience for me I was in that company for about eight years or so until we moved to California when I moved to California we just you know we weren't connected with them anymore they, because it's all kind of local stuff right even though I could have kept building it I I decided to kind of drop it and when I came back to Canada the year after uh things had changed and we we did decided not to go back to that that at that, that time later on I went back into network marketing again different companies I've been into like four or five different companies uh since since then and um and but still I love the industry because it's basic it's based around teaching you the basics of building a business the basics of uh, personal development the basics of you know growing yourself like learning so that's kind of how I started right in network marketing that's kind of how I started the business the business side and from that I wanted to build other businesses I've always kind of wanted to build businesses and 
but the thing is that I had okay so now back to a little bit of personal side I have four daughters and four grandkids my oldest daughter has four children so that's she, she, all my four gen, grandchildren are from my oldest daughter um I have two two younger daughters right now seven and nine and my older daughters are 26 and 27 and uh, they're just from two different uh, marriages right so my my um yeah all my daughters are very uh entrepreneurial if you will they like to they like to build things themselves they're they're very um and well my younger ones are still you know not there yet but my older ones are like that a little bit right so I'm very proud of that um then the other thing is I like I said I build those businesses so what happens in back in 2015 I was working um for IBM a computer company obviously you know you probably know that and I was working you know the same kind of work I do now I've been working there for like 10 years and then they decide to let me go because they were doing some some you know uh, general clean uh, at the time there was some I guess financial problems with everything uh, but anyways at that time I ended up without a job and I had to find another job and I was living in PI right now where I'm living right now and I just couldn't find a local job that you know I would be happy with so we decided that I it was okay if I looked elsewhere and we ended up finding a contract job in Montreal and that caused me to have to move to Montreal my wife and I we discussed it she didn't she didn't decided in the end she came for you know a while and she didn't like it so we decided that it was okay that we and we figured out a way for me to come back home right the COVID I guess solved that for now but um but because of that I started looking to build at the time at the time I was I was in a network marketing company I was trying to build that company I thought it was a great company and I was trying to find people online I started looking online to build my network marketing company and there was all sorts of people teaching it still today right and I found somebody uh, Caesar Rodriguez teaching about uh, his uh, his tactics to 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 get new leads and doing it online and everything and all this other stuff and I ended up uh, falling into my lead system pro which is a platform that lets you learn let's just kind of look show you that MLSP so my lead system pro is a platform that lets you um, basically build your business online right but they also talk a lot about online marketing personal branding attraction marketing those kinds of things which I didn't really know much about back then and that's kind of how I went from because they were teaching they teach how to build a business online right so they teach now this is not an ad for them I'm just kind of telling you what I got I fell into right so basically they teach how to build a business online doesn't matter what kind of business it is but there's a lot of education around uh, building a network marketing business online right so finding the people that are interested in what you have to offer and that really got me really interested in that that's kind of how I got into the online world how to how I learned about personal branding how I learned about blogging about all these different things I mean if I look I don't know if you can see without logging in here no I guess not so they uh, they have daily coaching they have like if I log in let me just log in to kind of show you how crazy it is uh when you go to that you can see under training right over here let's say um where's the best of training vault training see Cesar Rodriguez right here right um let's be affiliate sample ads let's just go to my training library I guess oh yeah right okay so as you can see there's a ton of training it's all well it's all free I mean you pay for a certain amount for membership you can get a free 10 day or 10 dollar 10 day trial uh, or even there's other ways to get like a 30 day trial uh for like almost nothing uh there's a like a one dollar thing you can buy and that gives you like a 30-day trial right so there's things like that you can do to if you want to go check it out but you have access to all these crazy trains I learned all sorts of stuff from that that's how I got into like I said into online marketing and from there from there then basically what happened and by the way if you want to go to that it's mlsp dot uh, let me just put it on the screen here um let's just say let's just put that in here uh, it's mlsp.jsgarnell.com everything is my domain there so I've got that like that let me just uh, resize that select the color 
make it blue and select the background color make it white and let's see and then opacity what about the other one over here make sure this is visible there you go okay so this is the link to it whoops resize this for you yeah so mlsp.jsgunga.com if you want to go check that out this is going to get you can get the 10 day and if you want to reach out to me obviously I can uh, connect you with that one dollar thing uh if you want to try that but yeah so that's the link to there okay so in any case after going through that I started my journey that that was in 2015 right so I started my journey learning about different things I I I fell into the crypto world in 2017 when bitcoin was at you know seven or six thousand or three thousand or something and I ended up losing it all I invested like one whole bitcoin at the time like three thousand right four thousand dollars into this like whatever ponzi scheme I didn't I you know I whatever you don't you never know right whether it's surreal or not but it certainly was attractive I invested in there and they eventually lost it all but I did keep I don't know I think I have 0.3 bitcoin in my wallet now so now that the bitcoin is going up but at that whole uh, time I built this massive platform to allow people to trade cryptocurrencies right that's one of the things I did the other thing I did is learn all about automated Facebook messaging using many chat right I learned about that I learned about growing your audience using um uh, talking about your passion I learned about um, Facebook uh I mean like it's insane how much you learn I mean just imagine over five years right and um more recently I built this uh, website that you know about right click eCourse that I'm sure you've seen so click eCourse let me just add that in here too uh click see so that's clickecourse.com so click ecourse.com right now let's do the same thing let's make this uh let's make this blue because you know it's a link make the background um uh, like this well let's do that that's fine so click ecourse.com or now became I don't like that but let's edit that uh background would be a white let's make it a white background as well uh, whoops that's not right what did I do here it didn't work oh okay there we go okay like that there you go so clickycourse.com so that's basically a platform that you can uh, host your own courses but it does a lot of other things I talk about it a lot in all in a bunch of other videos if you're if you're wanting to you can go to my blog right at the jeansergegagnon.com or jsgagnon.com you can go check out all these different blog posts there's lots of them that I talk about if I go if I go to click eCourse for example just search for that in the category you can see all the posts that talk about click eCourse what it does it's uh it's you know that's my main focus is so like Russell Brunson talks about that's one of the things that I you know last two years or maybe three years I've been really a big fan of Russell Brunson following all his training everything else um and it's just been you know lots of amazing training doing it ads on like I mean I did ads on Facebook if I show you like my I don't know that it's unfortunate they deleted old data now you can't access all your data uh but um you know because I spend like 20,000 on ads right let me see if I can go into my ads manager uh let's see now these are my ads manager my ads can I see a all time whoops no I don't want to do that let's look at all time it's right here close that cancel I want this to be all time maximum so it's going to show me all the ads it just shows me where's the amount spent yeah right now it's oh you can't even see it because it's on, underneath my did you see it you know this is 14,000 that's over September 2018 so that's over the last three years I guess they I don't know what happened I don't know if you can get access to the average but I did spend almost this probably close to that so I've done lots of ads I've learned lots of things I've done lots of bad ads I've you know all this money I spent on ads hasn't been refunded or returned by 
activities because I'm still learning right but that's the thing I've done all these things and more recently like I said more recently I've built this uh chrome extension right over here actually you can't see it let me just uh let me just remove the bookmarks so if you look at this right over here just put it like this let's and then let's just uh, resize the bottom whoops I should have resized the bottom first because that's taking up the whole resize this and then let's go back down put that all on the screen here so you can see the whole thing and resize okay so you can see right over here I've got this chrome extension when you click on it let me move my let me move myself out of the way here when you click on it basically what it does is it um it gives you the option to put in groups so one of the things is that Facebook if I go to Facebook right one of the things uh, oh actually you know what let's talk about the um one of the posts I did recently which is about Facebook let's go into here under Facebook I go to here oh let's get this this link out of there right we don't need that there and let's put my blog link in here blog uh -huh. it's going to be G results so it's going to be this link or you can or you can, well let's just do it maybe maybe make, make, make it simpler it's js there you go so that's my blog link well let's change the colors I've, I messed that up <coughs> make it blue make this one white and make the gradient okay so that's my blog my blog is jsgagnon.com jsgagnon.com um and on here you're going to see something I did not too long ago is how to create a simple ebook to grow your list now this one I actually created this ebook live during that video and it's basically this this is it here you can't see it uh, fully there but uh, let's can I zoom in to that so basically what I did is I did this ebook like this it's just a single single page ebook I'm actually going to be focusing on all that the Facebook engagements because you can do all these things and grow your Facebook engagement if I go to my Facebook there's a couple times where I tried these different things I've been doing all sorts of different things but one of the things I tried is you know getting Facebook engagement it's not a ton of engagement on these recent posts because I haven't been following that particular strategy but um you can see there's some engagement on some of these posts especially the family stuff um and my coffee thing that I did um I'm doing like it's mostly family posts that I'm doing right right now right but the thing is that I have to update my profile I have to make it all match you have to make it all connect everything has to be connected otherwise people aren't going to know what you're talking about right so that's the thing now I'm focusing on this extension which basically lets you go and find the people that are actually interested in your stuff so after you put in your groups what it does is it goes and navigates to those groups and finds the people that are commenting on posts in those groups so you choose your group based on your avatar and then what you do as you go and run it and then it gives you a list of all the people that are interested let's just get this one out of there and this one here and I'm gonna I think I have this one yes I do right here and this is where you want to go you want to learn about this at activegroupusers.com basically it gives you a list of all the people that commented in the last in the whatever the, the that whatever that run you did you can have multiple runs depending on your plan and you can you can put notes in here like this right you can see the comment that they made and let's see if you have a bigger comment let's say just trying to see if the, where's the somebody got so long so you see the whole comment here like this right it shows you the whole comment of, just so you can see then you can go navigate to that post you can actually go comment on it or you go straight to their profile like this it takes you straight to their profile to go and get there uh, to go and engage on their posts and anyways it all I all explain that I'll have another post to talk about that but basically you can go and find the people that are interested in your stuff not go bug them but just engage on their stuff so they see you they see your page 
then they can maybe reach out to you if they're actually once they actually realize what you do and how you can help them right and that's the secret to building online is actually finding the right people right so that's one of this that's what this tool does and uh so yeah so that's my story a little bit of my story where I've been how I've got gravitated to where I'm at now going through you know from when I was born go back to the beginning of the video if you're if you're not seeing the beginning here uh, and talk about where I'm from how I got here what my background is how I got to this and you know um didn't talk about too much about my personal side of life other than growing up because uh you know this is not really what this is about it's not about personal um, things and you know I could tell you that I love computers that I learned about uh wildflowers when I was a teenager and mushrooms and I I did um my my grandparents lived in a farm so I had they had pigs and cows and 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 uh, and the uh, well you know, and, <laughs> and chickens so we would eat from the farm it was all pretty cool when I was a kid um and all these things right there's all these experiences all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time